one of the only places we've been that we've stayed in that's kind of like that vibe more. But yeah, we were just talking about it because the place we went to eat today is all like farm to table, garden to table food. And it's just so cool knowing that your food is like fresh and it came from like a store. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on my channel. I am so excited to be filming again. It is currently Sunday, October 23rd, and it is 6.39 p.m. right now, and I am starting a new weekly vlog tonight. I am going to be taking you guys along with me on my next week. I have been vlogging little parts of my days for the last couple of days, but I am officially starting a new vlog tonight and I'm so excited to start a new vlog. It feels like I haven't filmed in so long and so I wanted to start tonight's vlog with a little bit of self-care and also a little catch-up. Um, Ricardo is calling me. I just got off the phone with Ricardo. He called me. He's out doing a couple of things. Um, and then he's going to come back and we are going to um, watch a Warriors game. The basketball season has started up again, so I'm not sure if I vlogged at all the previous basketball season, but it was the first season that I ever got into and the Warriors are our favorite team and they actually won the playoffs and everything last year, so it was so fun to like watch games at night it was like our thing i just had to take the camera down and delete a couple of clips off my sd card because it was full but like i was saying i just wanted to start off this video with catching you guys up on what i've been up to the last couple of months i haven't really filmed much in the last couple of months and that's why I just wanted to take some time at the start of this video to share and just document what I've been up to um, and just talk about it and also for memory's sake looking back on these videos um, but also just sharing on my YouTube what I've been up to. So I wrote a couple of things down on my phone actually because I didn't want to forget them. I will start by saying that something that I was really working on this summer is being more present in like special moments and in just more everyday moments in my life. So I tend to not fully be in the present sometimes because I'm so wanting to capture the moment either on photo or video or my vlog or for TikTok or for my Instagram and because I'm trying to grow on those platforms but also because I genuinely love photography and videography and I've loved that for so many years but now I have a family, my husband and my dog and I just want to capture so many moments together and I was trying this summer to be a little bit more aware of that because so many moments I take in with them at first and then I will like quickly pull out my phone, quickly pull out my vlog camera, quickly, quickly pull out my um, like my vintage camera and now I just got a film camera. So it's like I, I just tend to want to get it all on like I just want to capture it for memories and I really love looking back on like my photos and stuff and this summer I really stepped away from video content which is YouTube which is one of my biggest things that I love to do and so therefore I didn't really produce a lot of YouTube content this summer which I was really like I had a plan to um, vlog a lot more and I did vlog. Um, it seemed like a lot to me but then I could never put a full video together because I realized like halfway through the video that all I'm doing is filming and I'm really 
like missing out on parts of like real like everyday life um with my husband especially when we were at the cottage this summer it was our first summer at our cottage in new york and i vlogged there there's a vlog out on that but I genuinely think I vlogged almost every single weekend that we were there. But I think I only have one vlog up on my channel of the cottage because I would start off the trip by vlogging it and then I would just realize like I really wanted to be more in the moment with my grandma and my husband. So I put the camera away and sometimes I would just leave it back home or at the cottage and I wouldn't even bring it with me which was very hard for me to do that was probably one of the hardest things for me because it means that I can't film and it means that if I'm actually leaving it back there that like I'm not going to be able to capture it so that was a really big thing for me also a lot this summer we completely left our phones back at the cottage um I'm kind of just starting off with talking about the cottage so I guess that we can start there um, but basically we would like completely turn our phones off or leave them back at our cottage completely and we would go out with no phone of course in safe like ways like we would never go somewhere without our phone that we actually needed it but per se like we went on a couple of different canoe rides that would have been so perfect for photos so perfect for like videos so perfect for vlogging and we completely left everything at home because we intentionally wanted some times together without our phones and without everything and that was the first time ever that we've ever done anything like that was this summer and we did it all the time so that's kind of why I haven't really vlogged a lot in the last couple of months. Okay, I'm going to take my face mask off now because it's soaked into my skin. My camera battery is blinking, unfortunately, and Ricardo actually has my other charger in the car because we were shooting some photos yesterday for my Instagram and also um, I was vlogging a little bit and I brought my extra charger for this camera and it's in our car. So I'm just going to have to finish talking with you guys after he gets home. It is now Thursday, December 15th. A couple of weeks since I last filmed the clip that you just saw. My camera battery died in the middle of me talking with you guys. So I wanted to finish what I was saying to you and basically I was beginning to share how Ricardo and I have been over the last couple of months and what we have been up to. We had the most amazing and dreamiest summer. We spent most of it at the cottage in New York and um, our home here in Erie and spending it at the lake here in Erie. We went to Puerto Rico in August to see a lot of our family um, and we just had the dreamiest summer. We have talked about it several times of how this was the best summer of our lives so far and we're so excited for all of the years to come together. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and everything that I get up to in this video and share with you.
of Saturday, November 19th and I am so happy. I'm so happy. Today is just such a magical um, morning because it is a winter wonderland outside. We had our first snowfall in Erie this past week, um, I think on Tuesday or Wednesday and um since then it has just completely been snowing like every single day um tomorrow is also ricardo's birthday and i am just so happy i feel like we are just just so grateful and thankful for our lives because it just feels like such a good magical week Today, I'm going to take you guys along with me on our day. Ricardo is currently um, playing basketball with some of his friends. He left very early this morning um, and he will be there for the next couple of hours. And um, I actually kind of slept in a little bit today. Um, I took scene out and then um, I am just about to make a morning coffee a morning latte and then i'm going to actually make a stew for us in the crock pot which we're so excited for um and then that'll be making like all day i think if i start it this morning we can have it tonight and then um we can have it tomorrow as well um tomorrow is ricardo's 24th birthday and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to celebrate him. And he is the love of my life. I'm so thankful and grateful for our lives. Um, and <clears throat> we are also going to get some pictures today. We're going to do a little like winter photo session. So me and Ricardo um, I asked him earlier in the week if we can do it on today So we've been planning on that. We're going to go to the beach and get some try to get some photos there So I picked up a couple of things for those photos, which I will show you a little bit later in the day um, But I'm just about to make myself some breakfast and I'm also going to um, Make myself my latte um, I will show you guys out here oh my goodness i think that this might be the most magical time of year but i've caught myself saying that about every single season this year like i'm just in love with all of the seasons and i just feel like i have such an appreciation for them this year that i've never had before um but wow it is so magical outside we also plan to decorate our home for christmas this weekend so i'm going to bring you guys um along for all of that of course and this is how the living room is looking right now we are planning on um putting up some decor um and also we are thinking of putting our tree right there which i feel like will be so pretty so anyways, I'm going to head to the kitchen and going to make my breakfast and coffee. just made my at-home latte and it looks so delicious um this is what it looks like as you guys saw and i just took some pictures on my like vintage camera i don't even know if it's considered vintage but i call it that because it like takes it has like a certain look to the photos. I'm just about to um, 
show you guys what I made for breakfast for Ricardo and I and um, then I um, will start the stew as well. preparing for him to come down um, I will catch you guys up a little bit about that a little bit later but we have a little bit of a spread here we have some cheesecake some chocolate covered strawberries chocolate covered Oreos um, sparkling grape juice cider some of his favorite things um, some balloons the tree looks Oh my gosh, I'm just in awe of our tree this year. I love it so much. It actually is so perfect. Um, I just can't even believe it. It just came out so beautifully. It was exactly like in more what I was kind of inspired by to do. Um, and then I have some more chocolate covered strawberries right here. Um, I also made him a whole breakfast which I will show you guys as well. Um, and then I also have this right here. So we have a wreath going down the whole stair right there, as you can see, um, with some lights. But then I have a happy birthday sign and a couple of candles. And I'm going to light all of these candles. I'm going to light before he comes down. And then I just have a little card for him. The time on the stove is not correct. It's 8.26, but this morning um, I also prepared him a little bit of a breakfast spread as well. So we have some hash browns, we have some eggs, um, and then we have a couple of things of bacon. There's some more bacon under here as well. Um, but I'm so excited. It's just some of his favorite things, and then we're going to go out later today. So, here's to the love of my life, 24th year. <laughs> <laughs> 